Hey there. In this week's experiment, we're going to be looking at some properties of gases. And to do that, we're going to be using a, a relatively simple uh, simulation of gas particles that's found online uh, using the FET gas properties simulator. Uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward, but to make it a little bit easier for you all to dive in, I wanted to just run through some of the features of that simulation. So the uh, link to the simulation is in the lab procedure. And let me get that shared out and we can take a look at how to work through it. So here is the simulation. Uh, the direct link should bring you right to this page. And this is the gas property simulator and we wanna choose ideal. When we go to ideal, we get this cool little picture. And um, the best thing you can do here is just play around with it. That's actually the first part of the experiment is just go in and play around with things for a little while. So looking around, we've got a thermometer that's telling us the temperature. Right now, this is an empty vessel. So there is no temperature. That's interesting. There's no pressure. Again, empty vessel. This is, uh, uh, this is just nothingness. Um, and then some of the controls that we've got. So looking at controls, we've got a slider here that lets us make the container bigger or smaller. We've got a slider here that lets us release gas particles if we wanna release some of the gas particles. Um, we've got a heat or a cool down here. If you just click and drag that up and down, that'll help heat and cool. Again, there's nothing in the simulation right now, so there's nothing for us to heat or cool. Um, and then we get to uh, some of the other controls. So first of all, turn on the particles thing, um, just so you can see what's going on. And here are some of the hold constants. One of the nice things about gas experiments is being able to hold one variable constant, because then we know that that isn't affecting the change that we see. So a couple uh, things that we can hold constant for now, we're just gonna hold nothing constant and uh, play around a little bit. We can also turn on some monitors. So we've got a width monitor right here. It's telling me that my, uh, my box is 15 nanometers. I can go all the way down to five. So anywhere in that range, um, I can have different size boxes and the monitor down here will tell me that. For some things I might wanna use a stopwatch. Um, so we can turn a stopwatch on. I don't believe we're using that at all in this experiment. Um, another little toy in here is the collision counter that lets us count collisions with the wall. So um, that's another feature. The thing that we're gonna be doing most of all is first of all, uh, putting some gas particles in there. So in the simulation, there are two types of gas particles. There are heavy and light, and that's the only real description of them. The heavy ones are larger circles and they're sort of a bluish purple. Uh, the light ones are smaller circles uh, and they're red. So there are two ways to introduce gas particles into, uh, into the simulation. First of all, there's a gas pump. If I want to add some big, gas particles, I can pump a few big gas particles in there. If I want to enter, uh, if I want to add some small gas particles, I can pump some small gas particles in there. If I want to be a little bit more controlled than that, the particle box over here lets me add particles one at a time or 50 at a time. Um, so I have a little bit better, a little bit finer control over how many particles I'm adding or subtracting. Uh, same thing with the light. We can add a bunch of light particles. So now that we've got some particles in here, now that we've got some gas sample present, uh, we're moving all over the place. We can go in and heat this up. And what happens when we heat it up? Well, if you were watching, I should have pointed that out first. Um, we can watch the thermometer over here, 557 Kelvin. Let's cool it down and watch that thermometer. I'm gonna put some ice on it and, oh, look at that. I put some ice on it and it gets colder. Great. Um, if you release your mouse, it just snaps back to, to neutral. Um, I was also changing the pressure in the process of doing that. So if we look at the pressure, we're at nine atmospheres right now. If I heat that up, 
pressure starts going up. So um, those are pretty much the things that we're gonna be working with in the experiment that we're doing. Uh, you're gonna to need to pay attention to temperature. You're going to need to pay attention to pressure. You're going to need to pay attention to the size of the box, which in this two-dimensional representation, the width of the box is a way of describing the volume of the box. Um, you're going to be changing temperatures up and down and adding or subtracting particles to the simulation. So that's it. Uh, like I said, it's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward, but um, having a little bit of a little bit of a walkthrough uh, should help you get started a little bit more quickly. So good luck on the experiment and let me know when you've got questions.